My first interaction with yoga, I was five years old. I opened up a book of yoga postures. As I started to take these images in, there was something going on besides this guy was just in these extraordinary shapes with his body. I think that's what touched me deeply. And I remember making the commitment that in this lifetime, I would pursue and ultimately master the same thing that this guy was doing in these images. I studied philosophy and psychology in college and uh, I was at the University of Denver and I left midway through my junior year. And within just a matter of a few months, that's when I started doing this kind of practice I'm describing out of the book. It was light on yoga. Person said to me, well, you know, if you're gonna do the postures, you might as well just get to shoulder stand. Shoulder stand and plow are the two most powerful poses. I looked at Mr. Iyengar's book and in the latter part of the program, he says, do it for five minutes to 30 minutes. And I began being curious as to what would happen if I did it for 30 minutes. I was stunned by the challenge of it. And what quickly began to unfold is realizing that fundamentally, the only thing I was fighting other than gravity was myself. I began to notice my breath all but disappearing when I would relax after those two poses, when I would just get still. Just uh, literally resting on this cloud of absolute peace. It changed my life forever. When I got into yoga, it wasn't about a career. It was really a way of linking to the deepest part of myself and understanding who I was and what life was. And my teachers began to give me practices that helped me answer those questions. Through the gift of my teachers, I was lit up. I was given life. I was given purpose. It's really through serving my teachers, by helping others gain the clarity and the vision and the power to fulfill their purpose. That's where I find my greatest joy. And really where I've spent the last 35 years of my life serving. The yoga tradition believes this whole thing has come out of light. Life is just a creation of light, and light is the basis of everything. I was six or seven months old, and my mother told me that my first word was light. Light is sitting at every altar on the planet. So flame, whether we know it consciously or not, is something that all spiritual traditions hold as this highest truth. My whole journey has been about pursuing light and ultimately sharing it. If people understand the light that's within their own hearts, the light that is the source of life, not only are they individually changed, but the whole of life is changed. And all of us gain from it. The people I've taught can impact the people that they teach in such a way that their light becomes brighter. It's giving people a taste of that and giving people a sense that it lives in their hearts and it's, and it's accessible. That's the joy, that's, the, that's what's fueled my passion for teaching for really since the beginning. What I teach is para yoga. Para, P-A-R-A, -A, it's a Sanskrit term. It basically means the highest result possible when we put in effort. We're drawing from ancient roots. We're drawing from time-tested knowledge. Yoga is about fulfilling your reason for being here fulfilling the meaning and purpose of your life. Accessing that makes us more capable. It makes us more creative, imaginative, kind, loving, self-confident. As we become more self-aware, we gain the knowledge to find freedom and success. It's ultimately getting connected to the idea that there's a fabric that intertwines and embraces the whole of life. If we get in touch with that, then we enter into a magical relationship with life. Once you feel touched by that, then you're never alone. And that is the foundation of fulfillment and freedom.